My dad and two friends of his started the company in 1946, originally to offer flight training. By the end of the first year, he was a sole owner and operator. It's just amazing over the 75 years how it's grown from that one seaplane to 22 now that we operate. We fly to some of the most beautiful places on the planet, and those places are hard to get to. It's an all-day drive by car. We can have you there in, like I say, 35 minutes. It's just a real special thing to be able to offer people in the Northwest. Safety is our highest priority. Second to that, I think we want to feel that we're exceptional with customer service. Most people in Seattle know us for our flying, but we also have a, a pretty significant um, service and maintenance department. One thing that really sets apart the Kenmore Restoration Program is the level of detail we go to. You want everything to be safe, and then you want everything to be long-lasting, and then you want it to be visually pleasing, and then you want it to be just a little bit more perfect. We want to be the benchmark that everyone else measures against, and I think we are. It's always bittersweet when we finish a project. There's a sense of pride, there's a sense of relief. You know, the sweet part of that is seeing the tail light go over that hill over there. The airplanes are cool, and the flying, and the destinations that we fly to are beautiful, but if you don't have good people, then the rest of that is pretty hard to, to get done. We've had a number that have worked with us 30, 40 years. I think that says a lot for a company, that people want to stick with us that long. My dad always believed in practicing the golden rule, treating other people the way you want to be treated. He did that with customers, he did that with employees, and everything, and I think that was one of the major contributors to the success of the company. We've navigated some challenging times together, but we do it in a way that I think maintains the, the culture of the business and the, the chemistry, and that's something I'm very proud of.